I'm Wyvern Ferguson, that drywall guy. I'm at a customer's house right now, and I'm standing in their family room. I'm going to put a new ceiling in this room. Uh, the customers run some new wiring. The plaster was kind of shot. So it needs new drywall. The customer also wants a tray ceiling in this room. I'm going to use a product from Trimtex called Easy Tray. It only lowers the ceiling about two inches, but it gives you a really nice looking tray ceiling. You're going to see how simple and easy this is to use. Start out by furring down around the perimeter of the room using inch and a half thick material. Then attach half inch thick drywall. Use a cut off piece of the easy tray to mark the location of the edge around the ceiling. Snap a line along each section of the ceiling. Measure and cut the easy tray to length. Apply Trimtex 847 spray adhesive to the drywall. Apply Trimtex adhesive caulk to the edge of the easy tray that will come in contact with the upper edge of the ceiling. Next press the bead into place, aligning one edge along the snap line and press the other edge tight to the upper ceiling. Finish the attachment with half inch long staples. This ceiling has angled corners. The longer pieces have been attached and have square end cuts. These short pieces will have angled cuts. Use a Trimtex miter marker to mark the correct angle. Cut with tin snips. Bevel the back angled edges with a utility knife to create a tighter fit. Dry fit to make sure you have a nice fit. Use spray adhesive and adhesive caulk and attach the final piece of the easy tray. The ceiling is now ready for taping. Conceal the edge of the bead along the stapled flange. No joint compound or tape is applied to the angled surface of the easy tray. It is a paintable surface. After sanding and some simple caulking, the ceiling is ready for painting. 